Hello friends, welcome back to your English class. I'm Jasmine and this is the ninth module. In the previous module, we had a brief introduction to the next chapter, a photograph which is written by Charlie Tolson, taken from the book Hornbill. Let's read and understand the poem. A photograph by Shirley Tolson. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands, and she, the big girl, some twelve years or so. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. A sweet face, my mother's. And that was before I was born. And the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed the terribly transient feet. Some twenty, thirty years later, she would laugh at the snapshot. See Betty and Dolly. She would say, and look how they dressed us for the beach. The sea holiday was her past, mine is her loft. Both ride with the laboured ease of flows. Now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. And of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. It silence, silences. Now let's try to understand the meaning of the poem. You can see the entire poem has been divided into three stanzas. Let us first discuss the first stanza. As you read the first stanza, you can see the poet describes looking through a photo album, the pages of which seem to be made of cardboard. She is looking at one picture in particular. It is a picture of three girls, the tallest and oldest one in the middle and two younger and shorter ones at each side of her. The girl in the middle is the poet's mother and the poet speculates that her mother must have been around 12 years old when the picture was taken. The other two girls are two of her mother's cousins. Each of the cousins is holding on to one of the older girl's hands for support. The picture has been taken on a day that the three girls had gone paddling at the beach. The poet further describes the conditions in which the photograph of her mother and her mother's cousins was taken. The poet says that her mother's uncle had been the one who take the photograph. He had asked the three girls to pose for him and so they had. They had left their wet hair open and their hair was obscuring part of their faces. Through their hair covering their mouths, one could see that they were smiling into the camera. However, one face in the picture draws the poet's attention to a greater degree than the other two faces. It is her mother's face that she is concentrating on and she comments that the face was a sweet one. The poet also says that the photograph was taken long before her own birth. Since then her mother's face had of course changed from the time the photograph had been taken. But on the contrary the sea which lay along the beach 
where the photograph was taken had changed to a lesser degree. That very sea had been washing the feet of the poet's mother and her two younger cousins the day the photograph had been taken. Here the poet calls those feet terribly transient since all the girls in that photograph had stopped being so young and had grown up since then. Their childhood hasn't lasted very long. I hope the first stanza is clear and we will discuss the second and third stanzas in the next module. Thank you.